Black Dart Uvrin. Wow. Incredibly lethal poisonous darts. And yet they're worth so little. <laughs> he has so few. We're not much of a marksman, but something like this could actually come in handy under certain circumstances. So I think we'll take the worst of them. And it seems that the rest of you have managed to get rid of the other fool that was over here. Good on you. Black Dart could lure. And he has the same kind of darts. Deadly, deadly darts. Oh, this again. They all have them. This could prove to be nothing but frustrating soon enough. I don't suppose you're actually going to, I don't know, perhaps try to deal with them. Ouch. Now, I think... Let's see, we were hit by the one both poison and damaging fatigue. How delightful. Alright, we'll have to deal with this a simple way. We'll drink a fatigue potion, and we'll cast Dispel upon ourselves. Alright, I that should have... Okay, that did not get rid of the worst of the poison's effects. How hilarious. Alright, we'll have to drink a Restore Health Potion and try to destroy these fools as quickly as we can. Preferably with a bit more of assistance from our little friends. Who is hitting us? Ah, uh, this fool. so delightfully effective when they need to be. Perhaps I should start throwing some of their own darts back at them. That actually might make this much easier on me. And then there's always this direction over here. I swore there was another. Perhaps they simply incinerated him into ash. It's a rather pleasant thought, really. Warning. This is my box, but I keep all my stuff in. Stay out or I will make you dead like Giller's pet Durzog would stop moving after he sat on it. In there with a steel dagger. Well, I think we killed the idiot that was warning us to keep out of here. Not just some skulls, a tankard, a drum, some darts, and a bit of gold. Huh. Like it's just so damn important. Why are we suddenly encumbered? Oh, because the black dart. Ah, we actually unwittingly equipped one of them. That's why. Oh. A simple enough solution there. Skeleton behind your little wall there. Oh, we should probably go back for that idiot. It does seem rather suspect that we haven't actually found any undead here. Just these black dart fools. Was this the ones that the ghost warned us about? Hmm, 
as it would seem these would be the one and the same. Although I think we're handling them well enough. We don't need to go about drowning them. So, we should continue on then. Let's see what more we can do down here. Yeah, so it seems this is actually just the way around to where we've already been. And it seems we've already gotten rid of the entire gang that was here. So it looks like we got to do our good deed for the day. And what is this in that box up there? Malar's stuff. Gold. A greater soul gem. Some very valuable stones. Another black dart. Adamantium boots. Interesting. Oh, again, we must drop something. I suppose the darts that we don't wish to take with us. Perhaps some of these glass storm blades, but then again, we could fetch such a decent price for them. What is this? A goblin buckler. It weighs only five pounds. It's a light shield. Constant fact of regeneration with the draining of speed and personality by a severe degree. Yes, I don't think we're particularly interested in this magical item. Shame we can't strip it of its enchantment. That would actually be rather useful. Oh, and we're apparently still carrying around that Zuxton's plate we found. Ah, oh, we're fools for not depositing that back where we found it. Oh well. I'd say we've done enough here. We seem to have gotten rid of all of these wretches. And there really doesn't seem to be much point to this area of the sewers other than that. At least we ought to find a very pleased ghost soon enough. And their black darts actually might be useful. Because while the undead I don't think are particularly receptive to poison, something like damage health I think actually might work against them. So that should be rather useful. For now though, I think we should return to the ghost above. Perhaps they could reveal uh, maybe an area of secret treasure that we could claim for getting rid of them. Or perhaps just the reward of taking them out themselves will be enough. I wonder where exactly this little trigger point would be. None of these torches seem to be at head height. Hmm, whatever. Doesn't really matter. We're bound to have a very pleased ghost at the very least. Okay, so let's quickly return to them. And then I suppose we should head to the West Sewers. It's the only place we haven't been yet. And that abandoned crypt we found is so sealed off with jagged rocks and collapsed boulders that there's no way we'll be able to make any kind of progress there. Despite all the liches and other undead populating this particular sector of the sewers, Ah, and the ghost is gone, so I suppose it is finally at rest then. How pleasant. So it seems like the West Sewers is where we shall now go. We seem to be managing well enough. We're having to deal with some very frustrating enemies, but I think we can manage. I must say, I do tire of these sewers, though. But 
that's the way of these things. All right. We shall prepare for our next little adventure. And then go on our merry way. All right. Speaking out of character, I thank you for watching, everyone. We'll continue with the reel next time. And we'll see what more there is to it down here. All right, take care, and bye-bye.